Okay, after a long awaited 6 months, I finally finished building the 4100U. And as you can see, the system is all normal, there isn't no, any trouble, and everything is working. Um, the device spots are the same, but for devices, I do have 4099 9004s. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called, I may be wrong. And I have Simplex True Alarms. And for our speaker strobes, since this is a voice back system, if you saw by the preview, um, I have E70s and I do have a break glass here because I do find this really cool next to the emergency exit. I also have sounder bases on this system for upstairs, but other than that, nothing's really changed beside the panel. Before I show the cabinet, oh, you already saw a preview, but this is the cabinet. I know this is an ES cabinet and it's weird to have a 4100U in an ES cabinet, but the reason why is because I do plan on upgrading this to an ES CPU soon, hopefully soon. So yeah, why waste twice the money on an EES cabinet and a 4100U cabinet when you could just have one? Before we start the system, or before we start the system test, I'd like to show you a little bit about the panel. So as you can see, this display is a bit different than usual. This is a flexible user interface display or FUI or info alarm. Simplex has quite the amount of names for this display. But compared to the 2x40, I really like this display because I really like how everything is laid out. Everything looks way more simpler. And also, you have a site map. So this will show you on the map where an alarm is. And yeah, this is a site map of my house. I also have these all, all these buttons programmed except for this one and this one because I don't have a seal alarm. Also, I do have a bit of custom messages on here. Well, not custom, but like sim but some messages that aren't by Simplex, like the testing system, testing completed, uh, hazard, uh, no, not hazard alert, suspect with weapon, and standby message. So those aren't Simplex messages. Those are by other brands. And the testing system and testing system completed. Those are by Nick's Mad Science. He voiced those messages. You probably seen the video of like um, his video of like where he activates the alarms with his phone and he made like a wireless simplex alarm. But yeah, I'll put that. I'll put his YouTube channel in the description and in the comments. But before we start the system, let's do an all call. Hopefully, I can do an all call without the speakers interfering. But we'll see. May I have your attention please? May I have your attention please? We are going to be testing the fire alarm system. Please disregard all horns and strobes until further notice. Thank you for your cooperation. Yeah, so there was a bit of interference. But, you know what? Let's do the um, testing system message as well. So I can show you what it sounds like. So the, the two bongs as well, because I programmed it to do that. But... We are now testing the fire alarm system. Please disregard all signals and instructions until further notice. We are now testing the fire alarm system. Please disregard all signals and instructions until further notice. And it plays it three times and then it stops. The Let me show you. Please disregard all signals and instructions until further notice. Okay, and then message stops and then the LED turns off. So then, now that we've done that, um, let me put my microphone back let's do um let's start off with this smoke and then we'll do the pool station so
And as you can see on the site map, it shows you where it is. So, let me silence that. Okay, alarm silence. And as I was saying, on the site map, it shows you where the alarm is. So, this is the fire alarm control panel. And as you can see, it shows you the smoke. So, let's see, what else should we do now? Let's do all the smokes and then we'll do the pools. Let's do um, this smoke right here. You probably Attention. heard this much as a billion times, but yeah. All occupants walk to the nearest stairway exit and walk down to your assigned re-entry floor or main lobby. Do not use the elevator. Walk to the nearest stairway. Do not use the elevator. Walk to the nearest stairway. Um, also my heater came out right now, so sorry if it's a bit loud and you can't hear me well. But yeah, that's the normal simplex message. I might add like a different message soon, like high-low or something, but for now it's just the whoop. So let's do this smoke detector. I'm not going to be activating this one like, or like leaving the message on fast. I might silence it fast, so. And yeah, we science it and now let's acknowledge. And now let's do this one and then we'll go upstairs. Okay, and now let's go upstairs. I was gonna do a walk test, but I'm like, you can't really hear them. Well, it does like testing channel, whatever. Um, yeah, I was gonna do a walk test, but I'm like, what's the fun with that? I might show a video of walk tests later. But yeah, now this time for this one. Hopefully I can reach it. And yeah, it has a sounder bass on it. Yep, just the normal message, nothing special. And we have two more smokes and then we could do the pull stations. Okay, now we have one more smoke. So we'll do that and then we'll do the pools. And this one has a sounder base on it too. They're just the normal sound bases, not like low frequency or anything. Yeah, I'm probably going to change the message soon because I hate the normal one because we're... It's like kind of confusing. But yeah, anyways, enough ranting about the message. Let's go with this one first. And these do have brake glass rods in them. I'm not sure if I said that. Well, not glass, but like they have brake rods. So as I said, push in, pull down.
So now we'll do this one, and as I said, all of them have brake rods in it. So I'll push him, pull down. So then we'll do um, we'll do the other pull station, and then we'll do the brake glass last. So push in, pull down. Okay, and now since this is the last pull station, you know what, since, no, I was going to um, reset it, but nah. Since this is the last pull station, I'll let the message play a bit longer as well. So as I said, break glass. So you pull this down. So, you know what, I don't know. I was thinking of smacking it with like that, but nah. Oh. Where's my key? Oh. And those are all our alarms. And I think I have some glass on my pants. Nope, I don't. But I do have glass all over the floor now. Uh, you can see some of the stuff like that. Walk to the nearest stairway. Do not use the elevator. Walk to the nearest stairway. And we'll silence. So as you can see, it shows you on the site map where the alarms are. So all those P's are pool stations. So there's pool station right here, pool station right there, pool station right there. Uh, I don't know where that says IAM instead of pool station, but yeah, that says IAM. But that is a pool station. Our smoke detector on the second floor and the two in the attic. So now let's reset them. And I also have to clean that glass up after this video ends. But, yeah, let me get the brake glass out. And these are 4099 9006s, so I was wrong. I thought these were 9004s. I think the 9004s are the single action. But yeah, there is a piece of the plastic stuck in there. You can see it right there. Hopefully I could get it out. But these are pretty annoying to get the plastic out when they're stuck in there. Hopefully I could get out. Let me get a screwdriver. Hold on. I'll cut to the... Okay, I finally got the glass out. So, yeah. We'll reset it. Oh, and it's going back into alarm because Simplex has like the real alarm feature. But... Yeah, let me acknowledge that. And I do have everything labeled. It says M1-6. This is address 6. Hopefully I could get this out. Because these are annoying to get out. Because they like to get stuck. Is it? Like that. Okay, we got one piece out. Okay, we got the other piece out. I'll throw those away. And these are the ones with LEDs, as you can see. Um, if you don't know how the LED thing works, I'll show you in a second. After I reset this one. Okay, so we have the red piece right here. And the way it works is there's an LED pipe. The LED is right there. And the light travels through there and it goes through there. So let me reset this or take out the glass. And the glass, not the glass, but the plastic rod came out. And I'll put new glass once I reset the system. So now that we have that, we'll do a system reset. And simplex being simplex, it takes like forever. So we'll wait for that. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but both strobes are synchronized. Yeah. 
Um, so while that's resetting, let me get my new piece of glass. Okay, and it's done resetting. So, as it says, no priority two alarms present, reset complete. So yeah, it does a priority two reset and a um, hardware reset and a normal reset all at once. Or, yeah. So we'll put the glass in and then I'll show you some of the messages. Okay, and I put the glass piece back in. And yeah, I have to clean the glass on the floor. I'll get a broom later, but here's some pieces of it. It's like normal glass. Hopefully you can see that. It's not tempered or anything. Oh, I missed that, but I have to pick that up. Uh, yeah, here's another piece. Yeah, just glass, nothing special. Uh, but yeah, let me show you some, where are my keys? Oh, it's right there. But yeah. Um, let's do an all call and then I'll show you some of the messages. No, not not do an all call yet. Let me show you the standby message. This signal tone you have just heard indicates a report of an emergency in this building. Please remain calm and stand by near the speakers for further instructions. And yeah, that was the standby message. Um, let's do... Um, Code Blue. Attention. Attention. Code Blue. Four, four. Yeah, and let's do Suspect Weapon and then we'll end that. Attention, please. A suspect with a weapon is on campus. Run, hide, or fight, depending on your location and the location of the shooter. Yeah, so that's the message. And then, yeah, let's do an all call now. I don't know why I silenced it, but let's do an all call now, and then we'll do the testing complete message. May I have your attention, please? Oh, and we have interference. Hold on. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? We are... Yep, sometimes there's a lot of interference because the speaker is right there. Uh, let me try it one more time. Hopefully it works now. May I... Oh, it's doing the all call. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? We are done. Yeah, it's going to be hard, so... I'll just show the testing completed message. We are now finished testing the fire alarm system. Please obey all signals and instructions from this point forward. We are now finished testing the fire alarm system. Please obey all signals and instructions from this point forward. Yep, and this message is we by Nick's Mad Science as well. Alarm system. Please obey all signals and instructions from this point forward. Okay, and that was a full test of the 4100U. Um, and I showed some of the messages. And yeah, so that's pretty much everything. I don't know when the system test 2 will come out because I'm pretty busy with stuff. And I do have a video on the 4007ES coming soon. But other than that, that was system test 1. Well, new system test one of the 4100U, and I hope you liked it, and goodbye.